you know, it's just, uh, it's just one of those weird little sidecar mods. <clears throat> All right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. This is called The College for some reason. I don't know the reasoning for the name behind it. I know this was made by Dovpo and I know it was designed by an Instagrammer named Deer Deer 88 out of South Korea. And I have no idea why they decided to call it the college. Like I said, it's just a little single battery, 18650, little sidecar guy. Do we need to do a quick up I think we do. In order to get to know this device just a little bit better, we're gonna go real quick uppy closey time. We're going to do some pros and cons and I'll wrap it up with my final thoughts. I'll have timestamps for all of that down below. Go. <clears throat> all right, yeehaw. Quick, short, uppy closey time here for the College DNA60 device. Somewhat squishy carbon fiber looking here. This is an aluminum alloy. It feels like a zinc alloy. Very weighty, very heavy in the hand, even without a battery. This is a 22 millimeter dwarf RTA on here right now. Fits great, looks pretty good, but it can fit. I'm just using this old coil art mage. This is a 24 millimeter RTA. Yeah, and it fits on there nice. There's actually like a little, uh, lip right here so the maximum that it can fit is a 24 millimeter you can see that 510 is sort of recessed a little bit unfortunately micro usb i don't know why they didn't do USB C. that is unacceptable to me oh little face very clicky fire buttons very clicky up down buttons the display is on the bottom and there's your dna 60 right there the display is protected slightly from a little ridge that goes all along the bottom so when you you know you set it down on something hard like your desk maybe scrape it around a little bit when you grab it you don't grab things straight up you kind of you know do one of those jobbers it's going to kind of protect that display from little hairline scratches and things and the such as Single 18650, it's a quick release little guy. It's just one twist. Single 18650 comes out, positive side down every time. Ugh. It's kind of a bitch sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. Oh, come on, man. There it goes. Otherwise, there's not much to see. It's small, it's weighty, 24 millimeters, clicky buttons, pretty palmable. It's got these little sort of stylistic, you know, wings on it, which I'll talk about in a second. But honestly, it's just pretty straightforward little device. I'm gonna put my dwarf back on here. And there's really no right or wrong way to hold this. You can, you can grab the whole thing like this, hit the fire button here, just make sure you don't cover up any AFCs on your tank with the dwarf. I don't really have to worry about it. You can kind of grab it like this, hit it with your finger. You can kind of do one of these jobbers, hit it with your thumb. It's pretty versatile in the way that it can fit in the hand. But yeah, that's really all there is to see down here. Let's uh, get back out to normal view. Let's do some pros and cons. So pros, it's, I like that it's weighty. I, I like whatever this is made out of, aluminum alloy, zinc alloy, something like that. I like how it feels in the hand. I also think DNA 60, uh, that's pretty cool for a single 18650 device. I like that it's pretty comfy in the hand. I like that there's a couple different ways to hold it. I'm a guy that can appreciate a nice clicky button and this is a nice quick clicky little fire button. If you're using like a higher resistant mouth to lung tank or something like that, the DNA 60 with a single 18650, it's gonna be plenty of power for you. It is kind of a little bit awkward having the screen on the bottom, but it honestly doesn't bother me too much because I used to use those old uh, Vapor Shark DNAs and they had the screen on the bottom. It feels a little bit, I don't know, retro-y, a little throwback-y to me. Now, if we're gonna get into some cons, I just don't like these little sidecar type of devices. I think that's finally where I'm landing on these. And that's just really like a really personal preference thing. I think it might be a different story if it didn't have these weird like wings, like these like these Batmobile type of like fin wings right here. I, I don't know why those are there. And for some reason, they just bother me. I get that maybe it's like a stylistic choice. I, I don't know. I don't like it. Which kind of bothers me. Another con, in my opinion, USB-C. Just put it on there. 
put, put a USB-C charger on there because this is very much the kind of device that you would charge with a USB, at least I would, because the next con is this battery cap is kind of rough. It's kind of uh, like fingernails on a chalkboard, and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get your battery in and out in my opinion. There's nothing spring-loaded here on the cap and inside the device. It's a very, very firm spring, so it takes a little bit of effort. You kind of have to get this in the right position and really muscle it into place. I don't know. Maybe it's easy for everybody else. Maybe I'm just weak. So, I guess in conclusion, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little device. It's nice and weighty, plenty of power if you're running the correct resistance on there. If you like these sidecar guys, then this is one of the few that's kind of out right now. I know that Aspire has some stuff coming out as well, or has some stuff out that's very similar in a sidecar kind of fashion. It's nothing really revolutionary or innovative or groundbreaking in any way. The fit and finish is, is fine. It's comfortable. There's a little bit of like a weird edge just on this side of the carbon fiber and not on the other side of it. And someday, just one of these days, someone's going to release a side fire device like this where this is the button. Why, why is this not the button? I would love this. I would truly and honestly love this if the button was right here. Now, are you going to need your vape budget hands if you want to check out the Dovpo College? Yeah, kind of. Clicking around the internet, it seems to be about a hundred to a hundred and ten dollars, which just seems expensive for what this is. I understand that the DNA boards are expensive to begin with, but when you have a company and a DNA board and a collaborator, that's just a lot of hands in the cookie jar and it equals a little bit higher of an asking price, which is overall kind of a bummer. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'm not completely in love with it. I'm kind of just... I don't know, meh about it. I'll stop rambling now. That's what I got for today, everybody. Links are not allowed in the description. Thank you, YouTube. But seriously, thank you so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is still at least 95% less harmful than burning combustible tobacco cigarettes. So no matter what's in your hand, yeah, absolutely, guys. Let's keep on vaping.